right, next we're working on the cooling system. So we're going to flush the coolant completely out of this truck. Then we're going to replace the thermostat while we're in here. The service interval on coolant flush is 150,000 miles. We're right around there. We're already doing maintenance. We're going to go ahead and knock it out right here. This is where your thermostat's going to be housed. So you'll remove this plate and then this pipe right across here is what, uh, what actually houses the thermostat. If your truck hasn't been deleted, you'll have your EGR cooler sitting right here. And there will be a crossover pipe running this way, going over to the intake horn. You'll have to remove all of that in order to get to this right here. This truck's deleted though, so I don't have to... All right, so our radiator doesn't have a drain pickock. I know some of them do. I haven't determined how to differentiate which one does and which one doesn't. But for whatever reason, this one doesn't, and my 2013 did not have one. So what we're gonna do is over here on the passenger side of the vehicle, we're gonna take out this entire fender well, and then right behind here, this is gonna be the lower radiator hose. We're just gonna pull that off the manifold and drain it into a bucket. All right, so disconnect your radiator hose right there at that Y. Be ready, because it's gonna make a giant mess. Have your bucket ready down there. You're gonna get approximately five gallons out of the system this way. All right, back top side now, we're gonna pull this cover off, remove this cooling manifold, and the thermostat will be directly under it. All right, so those two up top with that shield, those are eight millimeter. And then down here, down below, those are also eight millimeter, but you're gonna need an extension to get down to them. Let me go grab my extension and we'll get after this. All right, so once that thermostat housing is removed, you expose your thermostat underneath. We're gonna have to get a screwdriver or something, stick it in there and pry that up. All right, so we just pried that thermostat up and the gasket came separate. So just make sure you move this rubber seal as well. Your new thermostat will either come with it. I didn't know if mine did, so I went ahead and ordered one just in case because I didn't want to wait on parts once I started this project. The reality is this thermostat here looks really good. One of the first things you'll see goes is this rubber seal. Right around the top side of the thermostat. You can also see it on the bottom side. And that'll get sucked down into the cooling jackets uh, once it does go. And then you'll start having issues with heat and the truck overheating and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and get this new thermostat put in. This one here, factory, is 190 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna replace it with a 185 just because that's all they had. Make sure when you replace these thermostats, you go with Cummins OEM. You do not wanna use the Gates, just plain Jane thermostat on these. There's been a lot of complaints that they don't work and they fail pretty quickly. Just make sure you place it with comments it's worth the extra money all right so we got the new thermostat seated now we're going to come in with the housing retighten everything down and then rehook up our lower radiator hose and refill her with coolant all right so i got my little coolant funnel in here i'm gonna go in with concentrate so i'm gonna do a gallon of concentrate mopar coolant and then a gallon of distilled water on top of that and just alternate back and forth it should take about five gallons all right so next i'm gonna crack this banjo fitting right here this is a coolant overflow. So I'm gonna crack that open so we can get some flow through there. I'm gonna start the truck up. And while he, eventually you'll see coolant start to puddle out of this. Once coolant puddles out, I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up. Check the reservoir. It should take some more coolant, but we need to get some of those air pockets. Out. 